Gotta scream around, baby. Alright, I'm gonna grab the net. <laughs> Well, hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, we just got a short little video here tonight. We're gonna go out just for a couple hours and see if we can jig up a couple kings. So we got quite a few mature adult kings staging up in our lakes and at the pier heads right now. So we're gonna go do a little jigging. We just had a little rain come through, but it's a nice night out here. So we'll go see if we can find some big kings. So when you're choosing a good rod for this vertical jig and for salmon and lake trout, you want to you want a rod with a good backbone but a fast tip. So you want a fast tip because that's going to give your jig a good snap up, which is going to give a good action. But you want a good backbone so you can get a good hook set into these fish. Because with these heavy jigs, you know they can fall out of the hook fish's mouth easily if you don't get a good hook set and keep good pressure on that fish here. So what we're running is just a Fluger President reel. And we just have 20 pound power pro for our main line. I like to use a braided main line just because it gives you direct feel right to your right to your jig, especially when you're fishing deeper water. You can keep a nice vertical direct jig to your or direct line to your jig, which is going to provide you with a good hook set and good action to your jig. So we're just running a small black barrel silver right there. I just like a black, small black one just to keep the gear, less gear in the water. Then we have about a three foot liter of just 12 pound monofilament. So we just I just like to use a mono leader here because with that braid that mono leader provides just a little bit of cushion And it seems to be just a perfect medium then we're running just a small snap there You don't need a regular ball bearing swivel because you have your barrel swivel on so Just a snap and we're running EJ jigs today. So these EJ jigs are great jigs these, This is a two ounce check these guys out there a couple young local guys here and they make great jigs So give them a look in the description for their a link to their website and uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drop these straight below the boat here. We're in about 30 feet of water, so we're gonna drop them straight down and we're gonna give them a good snap up and just let them fall, flutter back down. You know, most of these time these fish will hit it on the way down. So when you snap up and you're going down, you know, you don't want a sloppy fall where you have a bunch of slack lines. So you wanna kinda keep your line nice and tight, not but not too tight, so it's a perfect medium. So check it out here. So I'm gonna let it hit the bottom and I'm gonna reel down so my rod is just on the bottom. So my rod tips right level with the water and my jigs right on the bottom Then I'm just gonna snap it up here and let it fall back down Let's snap it up and as soon as it hits the bottom. I'm gonna snap it back up And you know you can see I'm not I'm not lowering my rod too fast where there's a bunch of slack line out Because if you lower it too fast then your lines gonna get looped up and it's gonna wrap around your tip So I'm just ripping up. I'm letting it fall as soon as it hits the bottom ripping it up and most of the time these fish are going to hit on the fall so you know if you're going down and you feel your line go more slack than normal you know a lot of times you have a fish and you want to stick them or you'll feel a thump thump or you'll just go to pull up and the fish will be there now when you feel that bite it's really important like i said to get a good stick in them and keep good pressure on that fish so we're just going to rip these jigs and uh yeah just get on top of some fish and there's a fish right there there's a fish right there 
<laughs> well, it's just a pike, but it's a start, so. <laughs> pike like the jigs, too. <laughs> yeah, you can. You never know what you're going to catch on these jigs, to be honest. You can get pike, you can get walleye, bass, lake trout, a little bit of everything. Oh. Send him home. If he was a little bit bigger, we'd be bringing him home to the frying pan, but hey, it's a fish. Got some coming through. Two just came through. Oh, Max. Oh my gosh, look at all these fish guys. They are shooting through. Oh, dude. Oh, here they come, guys. Look at them. The sharks are coming in, baby. Oh, man. Oh, man. Holy moly. Come on. It's a matter of time. Oh, one just dove on your hardcore. Fish. Got him. Watch them come in and eat it, man. Watched them come up and eat it, guys. It's coming at me. Oh, oh, oh he, he was coming at me so fast. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Dude, I thought he came off. He was coming at me so fast. These little reels don't quite do it, man. <laughs> Hold on to him, baby. <laughs> I watched him come up and eat it on the pan optics there. He circled it. He came up to eat at it twice. Circled it, came back around and just slam <laughs> This is what feels like a good fish guys Oh there he is I mean he's nice but he's not huge <laughs> Arms are getting a little work out here. Gotta steer them away from the. Oh. Oh. Look at that guy. Oh, baby. Oh, there we go. Let's get on the boat here. Just a big healthy king, right here later this evening. Oh, it's so pretty.
Panoptics live view, you can see that's a fish in the bottom right corner swimming down. Okay. Show you what it looks like when some fish come through. Right down the bottom. This guy. That's a fish. Those are kings. Those are kings right there. Coming through. Coming right over to Maggie's bait. Here comes another one. Here's another one. Look at this guy. Man, he's turning back. See, I got the gain turned down. I got the gain turned way down, so you can't see our lures, just so we're not picking up weeds and debris and smaller fish. Um, so if I could turn the gain up where we'd see our jigs, but we know about where they're at. We're There's just, a bunch of eight fish over there. Is there? There's a lot of alewives in here right now. So these little specks up here coming through, those are bait. What's going on, Mags? I need to be focused. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a monster. Is he spooling you? My heart's beating fast. I'm nervous. Get ready to walk back. If he shoots your, yes. Yeah. Oh, step back, Mike. Step back, step back. Step back quick or go low. Okay, whenever he's ready. Awesome job, Maggie. I go for another one now. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it was fun.
Okay, so we're gonna prepare a fish uh, here. Just got this little flame knife today. I forgot my other one. So I'm just gonna cut down along the belly. Gotta make do with the little one. I'm just gonna do a regular flame job, but with this little knife, I'm gonna do it a little differently than I usually would. Go in, just ride the backbone there. Now I'm gonna go all the way through, just about past the butt. Not very sharp, but I'll get the job done. Well guys, we hope you enjoyed just this short video we had for you this week. Our guide season is in full swing right now, so we haven't had the chance to get out and do many adventure style videos, but we are working hard to bring you bi-weekly uploads and we can't wait to get back out there and do a lot of camping trips and stuff like that. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to subscribe. We post bi-weekly uploads and we'd love to take you along with us. So we'll see you guys back here in a couple weeks in our next video.